Nikella Chester with Rowdy Jordan and Tanner Allen. Guys, you told me earlier in the week, making it to Omaha wasn't enough anymore. You've got the national championship now. Is this moment everything you expected it to be? It's everything you know you could ever imagine. Uh, coming out on top, being our last year here, winning the whole championship with the fan base here. With if you look around, it's 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 all maroon and white. Everybody cheering us on. It's amazing. Yeah. This is unbelievable. I told him we can't. We, God sent us back for a reason. And you know what? We believed it. And tonight, man, it's it's something you dream about ever since I was two or three years old, man. It's unbelievable. The Allen Jordan duo. Two roommates that maybe can't agree on who cleans the most, but the best one two punch in the country. What's it like to do it with each other? It's amazing. We, you know, we've been through the ups and downs all four years, and to be able to go out on top together and having really, two really good years, you know, you can't beat it. It's awesome. We, when we got here as freshmen, we didn't have the best year, but we ended up in Omaha, got our heart broke. Sophomore year, did the same thing, had a great year, got here, had a heart broke. We came back this year and we told you, you know, we agreed that, hey, we're going to be a difference maker. We're going to play hard together. We're going we're gonna to energize this fan base, get them rolling, and let them help us win the championship, and it happened, man. It's, just, it's an unbelievable day to be a Mississippi State Bulldog. Yes. You too. Tanner, the other day you told me when you were having some rough at-bats, you got him out there and said, I've watched you for too long. You've got this. Yesterday, Rowdy, a slower start. Today, an incredible start. What was the message between you two before this game? Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. You know, you, you haven't good at bats. Some things just don't go your way. You miss a double by a foot and a half. You just keep going, keep your confidence high. And that's what that's what I did. And same with him. You know, our slow start early in the week, and then we got going. And that's that's just the mindset. Chris Lamonis, he's been emotional all day, and for good reason. What's it mean to do it for a guy like that? It's awesome, you know. Hell, he was um, he was giving you know pregame speech at the hotel earlier, and he's tearing up, and he's about to start crying. And I'm sitting, me and Tanner looking at each other, going, we kind of like giggling, messing with him. But he he loves it so much. He loves being out here. We love playing for him, and for us to go out on top with him, it's it's awesome. Coach is one of a kind, man. You love playing for him. He's a player's coach, and uh, to do it for him is uh, something I can't even put it into words. He bleeds maroon and white just like all of us. And I know he's taking a lot of flack over the year for some of the decisions he's made, but I'm going to tell you right now, every single decision he made in Omaha was right on the money. And uh, I can't, I'm so happy for him. I'm glad I'm here to share this moment with him. The trumpet's playing in the background. An amazing career for the two of you. When you look back at your time at Mississippi State, what comes to mind as this chapter of your life comes to a close? You know, when I think back at Mississippi State, just, it puts a smile on my face. That's the biggest thing. I've had so much fun these four years. You know, I've met amazing people, and um, that, that's about it. You know, I just I, I'm going to look back at my time at Mississippi State, and it's just going to bring a smile to my face every time I think about it. There's nothing like Starkville, Mississippi. It's been my home away from home for four years, man. It's it's unbelievable, and you know I, I got a lot of stuff written under my hat uh, to play for. Starkville's one of them. Our bus driver E, he founded all of this. He's been to Omaha, this is his 12th or 13th time. Sorry if I didn't get it right, but to get him one finally means the world to me. And uh, I love Omaha. I'm ready to get back to Starkville and celebrate yeah. with him. Tanner Rowdy, congratulations, a national championship. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. State. Thank you. State.